how to find the keywords that an Amazon product is ranking for. So first of all, why is this important? How can this make you money? Uh, if you are a new seller on Amazon, uh, how are you going to get sales? Of course, you, you, you're going to you know use advertising, but you have to know what keywords to advertise for. On Amazon, the beauty about selling on the platform, as many of you know, is Amazon has tons and tons of traffic already. Every day, millions of people are going on the platform. And how are they looking for products? They're using search terms. They're typing in collagen peptides or coffin shelf into the search bar on their mobile phone or on desktop. And then they're looking at the search results of what is, uh, you know, what comes up so that they can see if they find a product that they like. Now, you know, for most of you guys, um, you probably don't scroll through too many of the search results when you're buying, you know, maybe you only look at page one or page two, but it's important that if our product is relevant to a keyword that we are showing up at the top of the search results, or at least it's possible that we're going to show up at the top uh, of the search results or anywhere in the search results. So we need to know what keywords to put into our listing, right? So that's why it's important. It's going to make you tons of money because if you're not searchable for a keyword, you will never, ever make one cent of a sale from that keyword because you're not going to be indexed for that keyword. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into the strategy so you can see how to do it. You start off by analyzing your product or maybe your competitor's product. You can copy their ASIN. That's the uh, identification number for every product on Amazon. And then you can just paste it right into the uh, Cerebro search bar. And then you are going to go ahead and hit get keywords. Now, once you do that, uh, after a few seconds, the entire list of keywords are going to show up. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, is that when you run a search, there is a button here on Cerebro that says exclude variation. Here's the first thing that probably 90% of you don't realize. If you enter in an ASIN, that has variations. That means it has different colors or there's maybe different sizes and you don't select exclude variations. When you hit the get keywords button, it's going to show you keywords that any one of those variations are ranking for. Like if there's a, a green coffin shelf, a pink coffin shelf, a black coffin shelf, the keywords that come up in the, in the results are where any one of them is ranking for. So if you're like, hey, you know what? I only want to see what the pink coffin shelf is uh, ranking for. Guys, make sure to hit the button, exclude uh, variations. Super, super important uh, for that. All right. Now, as you can see, I didn't select that here uh, on this example that I'm that I'm showing in the video here. Uh, and I got a total of 1749 keywords. Uh, that came up here. Uh, it says 1,616 are organic, and then there's another 333 paid. So the, the organic means those are just regular search results. The paid, those are sponsored uh, kind of results. Now, if I wanted to see all of the keywords that this product was organically ranking for, it's going to actually show me uh, from anywhere where we have detected this product from one all the way to a 306. And the reason uh, that this is, is because that that's pretty much the only uh, products that show up in the search results. All right. You, you might see search results that says, Hey, one to 50 out of 10,000 products, but really only usually the first 306 products show up or seven pages. So what we are showing in Cerebro here for the organic rank are all of the keywords that sometime in the last 30 days, uh, Helium 10 has detected in the search results. It doesn't mean it's going to match your search result, uh, you know, from your browser, because um, you know you, you're searching today. Maybe we searched a, a few days ago. If you want to know uh, from what time that the search happened, just put your mouse over uh, the last column, organic rank at the rank, and then it'll say something like less than seven days or between seven and thirty days. All right, it's never going to be beyond thirty days. So these are. This is not an estimate. These are exact ranks that were taking some time in that uh, time period. Now, as uh, I said before, you know, probably you know that, hey, if this is a competitor ASIN you're looking at, or even your own, 
that you maybe want to know what keywords these products are getting sales from. Well, you can kind of deduce because of the way the Amazon algorithm works that it's getting sales from keywords that it's towards the top of page one. So what you would do is you would use the organic rank filter here, the minimum and maximum and say, hey, show me the keywords that are between one and 50. And if you do that, it's going to go ahead and filter out the any keyword that is showing up in the top 50 results the last time Helium 10 checked. And a lot of these keywords, especially the high search volume ones, um, the only way that it could have gotten here to the top of the search results is probably it got some sales from this keyword. Now I said high search volume. We're gonna talk a little bit about search volume later, but if you want to do a filter for search volume, uh, you could go ahead and put minimum and maximum search volume. One last thing is uh, if you want to filter out only the keywords that are showing up organically, you would go into the match type filter and then select organic. There's all kinds of other match types here you guys are going to see. I'm going to be going over each and every one of these uh, in later strategies. So that's the first strategy you're going to learn today. And that's probably what you should do if you have your own product. That's what I want you to do if you're just getting started with Helium 10. Put your own product into Cerebro. Take a look at all the organic words that you are ranking for. If you don't have a product or you're doing some product research, take a competitor ASIN, stick it in there, and play around with those filters and see where that product is getting its sales from. Mm -hmm.